The Kursk operation of the Ukrainian armed forces has once again demonstrated the impotence of the leader of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov, and his henchmen, he is not interested in military assistance to the ruler of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, because he is saving the army for other purposes. This was stated by the People's Deputy of Ukraine, Oleg Dunda, in an interview with 24 Canal. According to him, Kadyrov already understands that the Russian Empire in its current form is doomed. And since he has many enemies, after Putin leaves power, he will have to fight not only for power, but for his own life. Many of his enemies want to present a bill for what he has been doing for 20 years. To do to him what the Libyan people did to Muammar Gaddafi, the MP believes. He stressed that Kadyrov is not at all interested in participating in military actions and losing his army, because he will need it during the collapse of Russia. From the first day of his appointment, Kadyrov is ready to betray Putin, he is constantly preparing for this. He feels that Putin's end will come soon, Dunda emphasized. Recall, recently, Swedish media site Dagens News has an explosive report out that Ukraine's recent invasion of Russia's Kursk Oblast may have been facilitated by treason of the Chechens who were supposedly manning the border posts there and refused to fight against the Ukrainian invasion force. Military bloggers and analysts are abuzz with claims that Kadyrov's troops have betrayed Russia and struck a covert agreement with Ukraine, raising serious questions about the loyalty and actions of these units, according to ZRA. According to military bloggers known for their Z commentary, Kadyrov's Akhmet unit allegedly backstabbed Russian forces by deliberately avoiding confrontation with Ukrainian troops during an offensive in the Kursk region. A former Wagner mercenary, who goes by the name Alex Parker, has shared on his Telegram page that Kadyrov's forces were well informed about the Ukrainian advance and intentionally allowed them to proceed. The deal was reportedly facilitated through an intermediary, Hussein Jambatov, a former Ukrainian soldier who later returned to Chechnya. Ukraine has consolidated its control over parts of Russia's Kursk region that it seized in a 10-day offensive, announcing Thursday the appointment of a military commander to run the area and new military successes. In the city of Sumy, not far from where Ukrainian troops surprised the world by storming into Russia, wounded soldiers also described operations in the southern Belgorod region, the Washington Post reports. It is noted that this suggests an even larger scale of the offensive, which changes the perception abroad that Ukraine has found itself on the losing side of the conflict. In contrast to the relatively easy time Ukrainian troops had in Kursk, including news of another 100 Russian soldiers being captured, the fighting in the Belgorod region was fierce. Three soldiers, including a commander, described how they were sent to Russia after months of deployment along the border. They crossed the border in armored vehicles in broad daylight, Four days ago, said Hacker, 24, speaking on condition that he be identified only by his first name or call sign in line with Ukrainian military regulations. As they prepared to cross the border at Kolotilovka, the same place where prisoners had been exchanged earlier, he recalled thinking to himself that this was a crazy move. In contrast to the rapid advance through Kursk, the troops in the Belgorod region appeared to be prepared for their arrival. The area was fortified with dragon's teeth anti-tank obstacles and heavily mined, and the troops almost immediately came under intense attack from artillery, drones and airstrikes. The Ukrainians advanced about 10 kilometers, the soldiers said, capturing abandoned Russian positions, but the fighting remained intense. Our entire group was wounded the day we arrived, Hacker said. He was afraid that he might be killed in Russia because we didn't know their territory. We were working blind, he added. Russia has not acknowledged the ground fighting in the Belgorod region, but the governor there declared a state of emergency earlier this week. The shelling was so intense that survivors were forced to take refuge in Russian trenches for several days until armored vehicles arrived on Thursday morning to evacuate them for medical care. Among the six evacuees was Commander Sergei, 48, whose right leg had been severely injured by a drone more than a day earlier. He underwent surgery immediately upon arrival in Ukraine. We were being shot at by everyone, he said.